I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the unconscious frog. Gently turn it on its back and pin it to the tray. From the ventral or the front side, I'm going to lift its skin up and cut it along the center. From the cloaca all the way to the lips. Now, I'll turn and open the skin back and cut towards the side at each leg and pin the skin flat. I will also lift and cut through the muscles and the sternum or simply put the sternum as to open up the body cavity so we can have a closer look. I'm also attaching a diagram right here so you can see and identify in this practical or on this image and try to correlate the different parts of a frog. So the organs of the digestive system as you can see here is right through the mouth. This is the esophagus, the stomach and these are the intestines, the small and large one and the cloaca. There's also the liver, gallbladder and pancreas here. Now coming to the circulatory and respiratory systems and the chest cavity. Can you tell which one is the left and right atrium and the ventricle of the heart? And where are the two lungs? I'll give you 10 seconds to figure that out. As you can see, these are the parts we asked you to identify. Now using a probe, very gently I'm going to remove the intestines and the liver to identify the different urinary and reproductive organs. We can see ureter, urinary bladder, testes and sperm ducts in case of a male. And in case of a female, we see ovaries, oviducts and uteri. What do you think this frog is? A male or a female? Now, we will remove the kidneys right here. Where do you think they are? Towards the front of the frog or the back? The dorsal, that is the back. Or the ventral, the front side. Can you answer that for me? When we remove the kidneys, we see the thread like network of spinal nerves that I mentioned in the beginning to you. Now that we have understood the anatomy of a frog in very lengthy detail, I would ask you to remove your gloves, take this frog and seal it in a bag and dispose it off carefully. Make sure to wash your hands before leaving your lab. The idea of this experiment was to help you identify the different parts of a frog and to label this on a diagram like this. These are available on the internet and you can download it and label it yourself for your better understanding of biology. Before we end this lesson, I hope you had a great time today and I'm going to ask you something. What do you think is the purpose of the nictitating membrane in a frog. Why would anyone need a third eyelid? Can you riddle me this? Okay, and if you have found the answer wise guy, tell me, where did the digestive, excretory and reproductive systems end? What was the common opening to all three of these? I hope this keeps you guessing for a while. So, I hope you had a good time learning with us, as we did with you. See you in our next lesson. Goodbye.